Bible describes Jesus Christ, directly quoted from the Lord Himself in Revelation 3, 1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God. I feel like this is not something that needs to be forgotten or overlooked, as it can help us both understand the deity of Jesus Christ and our own personal walk with God. This topic is too deep to cover in just one video, so this is merely an introduction. Isaiah 11:12 tells us exactly what these seven spirits are. And Revelations 4, 2 through 5 gives a great description of God on His throne. It says there is a rainbow surrounding the throne, and we know a rainbow contains seven colors. And if we list the spirits in the same order that Isaiah listed them, we would come with red being the spirit of the Lord, orange the spirit of wisdom, yellow the spirit of understanding, green the spirit of counsel, blue as the spirit of might, indigo the spirit of knowledge, and finally violet spirit of the fear of the Lord. Now don't confuse this teaching with paganism or the worship of many gods, because these seven spirits are one, much as the three parts of the Holy Trinity are one. But as we know, God is omnipresent, and His attributes are all capable of manifesting themselves separately. Now I want to discuss the inner dwelling Holy Spirit, which hopefully all of you know that when you get saved, you receive. So which of these seven spirits dwells in you once you get saved? Well, that's a trick question. The Holy Spirit is all seven. If you are truly a born-again Christian and you have been faithful in studying the Word of God, repenting of your sins, and walking after the Spirit of God, you'll start to notice that you've been given spiritual gifts. These gifts are the seven spirits of God manifesting in you in different ways for each person and all for His glory, not ours. In this series, we will do an in-depth study of both of these concepts combined. The seven spirits of God and how they relate to your spiritual gifts.